my fantastic friends, welcome in a new video. This is going to be a video about decoration of carnival masks. And so, as you can see, I have used a regular, like, plastic mask. And um, this is already painted because I started painting this, but I didn't turn on my camera, so um, I had to um, start over again. So let's start again. Um, so I started by painting the eyes. And um, you couldn't see that because I didn't record it, but I also uh, cut the... Um, cut the shape of the eyes because the shape of the eyes was different um, but I wanted um, like a cut a cut eye shape sort of because uh, I think that when you um, when you wear a mask it's all about your eyes so your eyes has to has sorry your eyes it's plural duh your eyes have to look like you know super mysterious and um, beautiful so you have to uh, concentrate everything on uh, on your eyes as you can see I'm using my hair dryer and I've um, I've cut it all the uh, hair dryer parts in the video but I have used that a lot uh, pretty much um, every passage every passage I've, I've done with color um, I've used the hair dryer because um, I didn't want to like drag my color uh, all over the uh, surface. Uh, you don't want to do that because that's not nice. Um, anyway, I'm using Posca markers, and if you're not familiar with Posca markers, are a water-based uh, markers, um, and that's acrylic paint basically, and it's a very opaque acrylic paint. So being acrylic, uh, once they're dry, they are very very uh, difficult to remove you have to use some alcohol or any kind of solvent so um, they are very resistant actually so uh, I'm using different uh, points so they, they are um, they come in dif with different uh, point shapes and point uh, point um, sizes so like as you can see I'm using the ultra fine size point here and then the medium one and also as the title of the video says I am using the Zentangle principles to decorate my mask I am obsessed with Zentangle I know it's not it's nothing new actually and a lot of channels have talked about Zentangle I never talked about it even if I'm really obsessed about it I'm obsessed by Mandala I'm obsessed by Zentangle I do that a lot and I kind of decorate everything with that and um, I never talk about that because I think that is something that should be really free you shouldn't like follow instructions to do a zentangle because either way is not uh, is not something zen anymore if you follow the lead of someone else it's not yours anymore I don't know if you um, if you can understand what I mean but um, I really think you have to um, just do it, <laughs> just do it. I know that it's not easy for everyone because um, some people tend to like think too much and they maybe uh, wonder like what do I have to do here so um, you don't have to plan. When it comes to Zentangle, it has to be really spontaneous. So you don't have to plan, okay, right now I'm going to put a little triangle here and then a little square over there and then a little dot. You know, you know, you don't have to plan, you don't have to think too much. You just do that. And plus, I've seen a lot of videos talking about Zentangle saying that um, you should do this, you shouldn't do that, like, you know, when you do Zentangle, you have to use a black pen 
uh, on a white paper, you know, and that's like a dogma. And I don't like dogmas. I hate dogmas, so um, I'm using color here and I think it's perfectly fine. I think it's beautiful. So don't don't have limits. You shouldn't have limits when it comes to decoration and art. Um, so just use all the colors that you want and, and if you use colors you are adding some like um, something more to your meditation because Zentangles is actually a meditation and uh, I don't know if you know that but the, it exists something that's called like color meditation so colors are really powerful when it comes to to um, meditation and um, like healing your soul Um, and that's it. That's pretty much it. I mean, this is just a demo, actually, because as I told you before, you uh, you cannot learn to make Zentangle. You can just, you know, take inspiration from someone else. So this is meant to be like an inspiration for you. Um, and plus, maybe you didn't think about using Zentangle to decorate a mask, maybe. <laughs> So let me know if you ever use the Zentangle principles to decorate something and what? What did you decorate with that? Um, if you like my idea of decorating a mask. If you have a carnival where you live, because it's, it's not a tradition that everyone has. It's more like, I think it has to do something with religion, but I'm not sure. Anyway, here in Italy, we celebrate carnival uh, pretty much, but it's more for for children it's um it's very much like your halloween for example we do exactly the same thing you do at halloween just we um like uh, put on disguises that's not uh, that that are not uh, necessarily scary let's say that um but anyway it's more for um for children yeah actually i don't um i don't use any I don't celebrate actually the carnival, but I thought it was cute to make a mask like this and to um, also do something for all those people who actually like it. Um, I'm, so yeah, <laughs> that's it. So this is my idea for uh, a carnival mask. I've done different... Um, masks here in my channel um, I'm going to leave you the links down here in the description box and in you know, over here on the video somewhere um, so let me know with the comments if you celebrate carnival and how if you like this idea of the Zentango um, to decorate something and if you used it to decorate something and what and please leave some thumbs up if you liked this video, leave some comments. I'm always glad to, to read your comments and to answer to your comments. And if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. So yeah, that's it. I hope you like this. Uh, I hope you like the result of my mask. And see you soon in my next video. Bye bye. Mwah. Ciao.